Hello student, welcome to your Pedia education. So as you know we have started a series where we keep on informing and updating you people about various opportunity in foreign admission. So in continuation of that series, today I am here with one more such opportunity that is available with Technical University of Denmark. So it is a great opportunity for Indian student. This is for PhD in Electrical Engineering. Not specifically as such in Core Electrical Engineering but in a specific domain. They are asking PhD fellow for a specific or a particular project which is Artificial Intelligence Method for Improving Process Safety in Automation Systems. So if you think till now you have some background work experience related to this domain then you are the suitable candidate you should explore this opportunity well before the deadlines. As you know safety is the primary concern of today's world any of the industrial sector. So before going into brief discussion about this project let us first check what are the necessary information related to this project ok. If you check about deadlines so you need to apply well before 29th of August 2021. So if you are interested in this domain, so apply well before 29th August 2021. Now in brief, if I talk, the purpose of this project is to develop an algorithm to support a variety of industrial safety assessment procedure including hazard identification and risk assessment. Next is this project is a part of research program operation and maintenance technology which is funded by the Danish Hydrocarbon Research and Technology Center DHRTC. What is the purpose? The overall purpose of the program is to improve operation and safety of oil and gas production platform in the Danish North Sea. So if you want to take more information related to this you know DHRTC and what is the basic requirement of this project you can visit this portal later on I will provide your link or if you log in they have provided the specific link there fine. Now further you know I told you earlier when some university or organization is asking some PhD fellow for a specific project then they have certain requirement they are expecting something from you. So they are saying we are searching for applicants that with one or more of the following background. General automation or process control, safety engineering and artificial intelligence. You must have a two year master degree or a similar degree with academic level equivalent to two year master degree. It doesn't mean your master degree should be only in these courses. See if you have done your MTech or masters in control and automation, control engineering, instrumentation and control, industrial control, in chemical engineering even, then even though you are the suitable candidate for this profile. If you think you are good at and you have some work experience related to process control methods, process control and instrumentation, you think you are really good in you know latest measurement technique, you have a brief knowledge of data acquisition system, how you can extract the information and you are good at employing the various efficient controlling mechanism and you know some smart sensor to improve the efficiency and safety of any of the plant or process and you think you have some work related experience to analyze the performance efficiently whether it is static performance or whether it is dynamic performance of any of the industry plant. And you think you are capable and you have worked in design, development, manipulations, modification and testing of any of the existing operation of industry or to set a new operations. Then you should apply for it. Right? And apart from this, if you think you are good in finding the solutions for reliability and safety, risk assessment, you are good at preventing the failure by finding the solution by adding the technologies. And you think you are good in analysis technique, data analysis is your strong part, then you are really a suitable candidate for this domain. You should go. These are the domain or background they are actually looking for. Fine. You understand this in today's world, work related injuries in any of the sector. You talk about manufacturing sector, you talk about oil and gas, you talk about energy, you talk about chemical, you talk about, to talk about mineral and mining sectors. These are huge in numbers, work related injuries. So what sort of the steps, what sort of the method and technology we are implying to reduce and prevent those. We need to use some technology which can analyze data at very fast rate because whatever sector I just named the plant and process here can run into hazardous situation at any stage. 
So if we have employed an efficient technology which can predict the fault and you know some error so that we can control and monitor that well in time and prevent and avoid those accident. So this is exactly the purpose of this project in that direction. So for the student who are currently doing their masters from any of the university and they are looking sir what is the research topic we should choose. So I already told you and keep on telling you in every you know, video that your research topic should be something which solve the real world problem. So I told you there are so many safety issues with any of the plant and operation in any of the industrial sector. So if you are really good in using different technology which can analyze the data at very fast rate and you know by helping and by predicting the pattern they can prevent and they can predict the error and fault so that we can monitor and control them easily. Then you should work in the direction of how significantly you can enhance the safety of any operations irrespective of what sector talking about. Right? Now next is specifically if we talk salary and appointments. So this is a funding project and the appointment will be based on the collective agreement with the Danish Confederation of Professional Association. The allowances will be agreed upon the relevant union. The period of the employment is three years and the starting date is 1st November 2021. So there are some contacts they have provided if you need some assistance further in the application process and you want to know more about this project, right? Then application procedure. Your complete online application must be submitted no later than 29th August 2021 Danish time which I told you earlier. And these are the list of documents which you should include. A letter motivating the application cover letter, CV, grade transcript and Excel sheet with translation of grade to the Danish grading system and they have provided the guidelines for this as well as how you can do it, right? Next is you may apply prior to obtaining your master degree but cannot begin before having received it. Means you can apply right now if you don't have your master degree but make sure when you are going to induct into course if you are shortlisted finally you must have your master degree at that time otherwise you will win the trouble. Fine. So these are the information related to this project. So hopefully I had made my point very clear in this video what the you know basically knowledge and information that currently doing mtech student can take from this if they are looking for some research project then they can take this as a reference that we can think in this direction as well as fine thank you